Moving on to the last authentication, we're going to authenticate with Twitter. Going to Twitter, we'll need to go to the developer.twitter.com website. Once we're there, click continue, and then you want to request access for your own personal use. Enter in your Twitter username or your project username. In my case, I'm just going to make it Sweetman Tech, which is my Twitter username. Select your country and then click continue. For our uses, we'll check the other box because all that we're leveraging is the sign in with Twitter. Twitter offers a lot more with their API that you can access, like you can access tweets, you can tweet for people, you can share tweets and retweet. It's a lot of different ways you can leverage the Twitter API, but for our use case, we just want to leverage the sign in with Twitter button. Once you've added enough text to meet the minimum word requirement, click next. Be sure to read the terms and conditions or scroll through them, whichever you'd prefer. Once you get to the bottom, it'll let you check the box indicating you've read it and then submit your application. The next step is to confirm in your inbox, you should have an email from Twitter. And once you click that, your app should be all set up. Now we'll click Create App, and we'll name the app Smart Lock. In the app description, we'll just type, it's a lock for smart home locks. We just need Twitter authentication, so we'll note that in the description. Next thing we need is our domain again, which we can get by going back to our app settings. Click Applications on Auth0, click on our application, and copy the domain name. Head back over to Twitter's developer website and paste the URL there. Next, after your domain name, type forward slash login, forward slash callback, same as we did for GitHub and Facebook. Be sure to check the enable sign in with Twitter. That's the main functionality we want. Then in callback URLs, we want to put the same domain name. Looks like we need to tell how the app will be used, so I'll copy the same thing as we used in our description. With the added note that we only need customers to be able to use the login with Twitter button. Once you click create, you'll get a reviewing of the terms and then click create again and your app will be created. Once it's created, we can go in and we can actually find that the sign in with Twitter is enabled. Now we want to go to the keys and tokens tab. Head back over to Auth0 and open up the Authentication with Twitter tab. In here, we need the consumer key and the consumer secret. Copy those from the first two lines in consumer API keys. Then click Save. Click the Try button, and we can see that we get redirected back to our app, and it works.